Human Factors is about designing for human form and function. That means the size and shape of the human body, but also how we perceive and think about the world around us. Well, Human Factors Engineering actually goes back to World War II. We were losing a lot of aircraft because the cockpit interfaces were just too complex. They were designed around engineering efficiency is not really the way humans operate. Once engineers and psychologists started working together to redesign the cockpits for human form and function, we saw a dramatic drop in the number of crashes, and the field of human factors was born. And now is another big inflection point in human factors, as technology becomes more personal and is worn on the body. With HoloLens, we designed it to fit comfortably on the head. We also designed for human vision and hearing to optimize how people use HoloLens to interact with the world around them. We're advancing research in areas that include ear geometry, vestibular comfort, wrist morphology, and much more. As Microsoft moves into more wearables and understanding technology, not just as an isolated device, but as part of an integrated system, we're going to be able to, as a human factors team, deliver the knowledge that's necessary to be making good products. We want people, ultimately, to be empowered by our technology. The fundamental challenge of human factors is to be able to know enough about what people do in a particular situation. We need to understand all those different aspects so that we can make sure that our products meet those needs. We're investing in the right people and the right technologies to help us meet the new challenges. People with backgrounds in ergonomics, biomechanics, visual science, auditory science, human motor control. When you're developing a product, there's often very specific questions you need answered that aren't available. You can't go to the books to find them. You have to create the data yourself. In the lab, we can do that. Our work has directly impacted the design of products like Surface, HoloLens, and Xbox. And it boils down to, if you want to have exceptional products, you have to have an exceptional understanding of the people that are going to use the products. And that's what we do in this lab.